Hey! Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Yeah, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. If you're gonna take the old man into town, you can take us too? Why, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. OK, then. Let's go. All right. Welcome back guys to a brand new episode of our Red Dead Redemption 2 Let's Play. I hope you guys enjoyed last episode. Um, I did my intro earlier before I went to talk to uh, Uncle. But I forgot my mic was on mute. So that... Didn't happen. I'll let you listen to the song. Alright, let's help Big Dog get his horse real quick. Oh shit. I'm scaring the horse. Because my goofy I decided to run to it. Alright, I think we got it now. Let's just go ahead and uh, pat it real quick. There we go. Come on. Good job. Oh, it's taking a shit. What the hell, man? Oi. It's a really big horse. Can we walk any faster than this? Nah, we cannot. If we stop running, I'm pretty sure he's gonna let it go. So we're just gonna walk with it. I love this. I don't think we could uh, walk our horses in uh, Red and Redemption 1, right? No. Uh, I don't think I ever tried to, at least. I don't think that was a mechanic that the game offers. It's good that we have it in this one, though. Cause like, it looked pretty, you know, cool. We're just walking with your horses and stuff. Here, here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. Nah, Let me study that horse. Really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, <laughs> anyway, thank you. Oh, uh, you're welcome. All right, that's one horse we study. Now let's go ahead and uh. Head downtown without any regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you not hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. <laughs> this looks like a decent little town. 
Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Go left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> oh, yes. We I love Uncle. Just a mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Okay, Uncle. What? You looking for trouble? All right. Here we are, just like I said. Cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self respecting maniac does put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then, rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. <laughs> Uncle getting roasted is funny, don't you? So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the wind. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Let me know if you have any questions, fellers. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Mm. Nah. I don't I don't need anything from here right now, so I'm going to just I'll come back to shop for more when I can. But now I'm going to save my money. Look at him. Long day good looking man. Good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night. As to get to the docks in time for the tides. In some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out there in New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Oh, the girls don't get themselves in some trouble now. Let's go find out what, what the hell is going on. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right away now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her. I'll go see about Karen in the hotel. 
Man, I almost put a bullet in that guy. <laughs> Can I help you, sir? I, I do I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk fella. Mid 20s, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Alright, 2B. Dude, you just snitched, bro. No trouble now, please. Sure. 2B. Should be this one. I'm getting what I paid for. Yep, it's that one. Kick door. Yeet. Hey! How are you? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. Don't you ever try that shit again. Huh? Not loot his ass. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. Just after you. That's not very ladylike now, hey, is it? Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched oh. me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy. Come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Cool. Get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. All right. Guess we're chasing after this fucking clown. Just following it. You stay away from me. Get Let's back go. here right now. <laughs> oh, I'm killing chickens. I want to get back, Birdie. He really thinks he's going anywhere. Oh, of course. Of course. Sit, please. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now, please help me up. I ain't never been in Blackwater. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. I can't hold on. All right, let's help him. Let's help him. All right. Come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Give me Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here, you want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense. 
in this year old mind. 